Hello everyone and thanks for watching. I'm Marguerite. Okay, so first I'm going to be starting with scotch tape. This is going to just help me get a really good sharp line. So a good line it up with your arch, like up here, and bring it down. That's just a good guideline of how pointy it should be just for a more natural um, line. All right, I'm going to be using my angled eyeliner brush. This is from MAC number 266. Or see that it's angled and it has a nice little point at the end. This is very good for your eyeliner. I'm going to be going in with this Maybelline just black gel eyeliner. You can get this at any drugstore and dip it in. Now, I like going in with the creams. Maybe you're wondering why I'm going in with the cream rather than a liquid eyeliner. Just for this tutorial, I'm going to be going in with a cream it's a lot easier the liquid eyeliners can become quite a mess and it's just very liquidy it's very black if you want a more natural look the gel is good for that so I dipped it in then I'm gonna rub off just to make sure there's no clumps on the back of my hand first I always go in the middle of my eye I know a lot of people say start at the beginning or the front the inner of your eye but I like starting at the middle of my eye and just um, create short little strokes so I just kind of hope you guys can see this so as get as close to your lash line as you can and even kind of like wiggle it in your lash line just to make sure there's no skin showing because nothing I don't I think it looks really bad if your skin is showing and that there you want it to just blend in as naturally as it can I know nothing's natural about a winged liner, but you you do, it will look better if it's um if it's as close to your eyelashes. It's really hard to talk and concentrate while doing this. So I usually save my wing for last. I'm just creating short little strokes and then slowly like connecting the strokes. You want the line as thin as it can be in your inner eye and then slowly get thicker as you go out and that will help your eye look larger for the wing. Since you have tape, this is gonna really make it easy and it doesn't matter really how messy it is. So just kind of first bring it down and you see that some of it's, this is getting on the tape, which is okay. This is just helping make sure that I'm getting it in that, in that lash line. Okay, so now just kind of follow the line of the tape. I stopped where I really stopped is right here like half of that line that's where I stopped on my eye I, this is not on my actual skin so don't be scared there but um you can bring it out as far as you want if it's, if it's daytime you know just kind of just kind of stop maybe like right at so go first you bring it down to the end of your eyelash and then just kind of flick it out but the tape is really going to help you so I just brought it out a little because I don't want it too dramatic. And then usually I turn this around and I go back in and fill it in. Because I like filling this part in and um, thickening it a little. See? Nothing is worse than having uneven eyeliner, and I know that's happened to you all. It's happened to me like every day of my life, so I'm not doing this every day. So I'm going to okay. dip my brush in again. Do that same thing. And just kind of keep really you can make it as thick as you want usually I have a very thick line but I'm kind of keeping this one just slowly pull off the tape I'm kind of keeping this one as sharp as I can Let's see that's good enough 
So if you want to sharpen it up, say you didn't use the tape method and you want to sharpen it up, I'm going to use this. This is like a L'Oreal brightening pen. And you can just take that directly underneath the line and bring it out. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to just take this concealer brush and um, kind of bring that out just in like short little strokes, just bringing it out because this is a highlighting pen. So that's kind of why I have that on the tip of my cheekbone. It's just going to help highlight that area because this is a good area where light falls, like the tip of your cheek. So that's a good place to highlight. Now I'm just adding my concealer because I have a, that tape. If you already, it's not really necessary to conceal before you do that tape because the tape is just going to pull it off, honestly. So just to recap what I did with the eyeliner, I just tried to stay as close to my lash line as I could and then the tape is what really gave me a really sharp wing. So if you want a really good winged liner, just use that tape and that will give you the perfect wing liner, honestly, anytime. And even if you have like a shaky hand or it's very hard, that tape will make sure you have the sharpest, most perfect line. Stay tuned because now I guess my next video, I'm breaking this up into two parts, but now I'm going to contour and highlight. Ignore this. This is eyelash glue. I'm sorry. That's absolutely disgusting, but thank you so much for watching and I hope you liked my video. I hope it was informative. Really isn't much to a cat eye. I think if you use the tape, the scotch tape trick, it will really help. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.